Good morning. Today we are going to see the boom. Boom. Definition. It is a specialized dense connective tissue which is made up of osteocytes. General features. It is derived from embryonic mesenchyme. It is highly vascular. It consists of organic materials as well as inorganic elements, mainly calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and iron. The bone cells are known as osteocytes. Immature bone cells are known as osteoblast. The bone is covered or lined by periosteum. There are two main properties of bone. Tenacity and resilience. Tenacity to withstand the power of stress and strain. Resilience. Flexibility or coming back to normal after strain. Cells of bones. There are three types of cells. Osteoblast, osteocyte and osteoclast. Osteoblast. They are derived from osteoprogenitor cells located in the mesenchyme, periosteum and endosteum. They play an important role in synthesis and mineralization of bone during bone formation and bone remodeling. Osteocyte. They are matured bone cells present in a space known as lacna. They are derived from osteoblast. They secrete a protein called sclerostin. Increased secretion of sclerostin inhibits the activity of osteoblast and stimulates the activity of osteoclast. Osteoclast. They are derived from red bone marrow. Functions of bone. They form the skeletal framework of the body. They give attachment for tendon, muscle, fascia and ligaments. They protect important organs like brain, lungs and heart. It is an important hemopoietic center. It is a storage center for calcium. Classification of bones. Bones may be classified according to shape, according to structure and according to development or ossification. According to shape, the bones are classified into long bone, short bone, flat bone, irregular bone, pneumatic bone, sesamoid bone and accessory bone. Long bone. They consist of two ends and a shaft. Okay, they are usually present in the limbs. Example, humerus, radius, ulna, femur, tibia and fibula. Short long bones, example, metacarpals and metatarsal bones, including phalanges. Short bone, okay, they are small, cuboidal in shape and it has six surfaces, example, carpal bones and tarsal bones. Flat bones. They are present in the skull. Example, frontal, parietal, occipital bones. Irregular bone. Okay. 
example vertebra some of the skull bones temporal bone spinoid innominate bone or hip bone pneumatic bone this bone contains air cavities or air filled space in the bones example frontal ethmoidal spinoidal and maxillary bone sesamoid bone this bones are covered or enclosed by muscle tendon or ligaments example patella fabella fusiform bone accessory bones they are usually absent okay in rare conditions it is present okay they are developed due to non fusion of secondary ossification centers okay for example vermian bone present in the sutures os trigonum os navicula according to structure the bones may be classified according to structure into compact bone and spongy or cancellous bone compact bone in case of long bones they are present in the shaft it is very hard and shiny part of the bone whereas the cancellous bones are present in the ends of the long bones in case of flat bones the cancellous or spongy bone is present in the middle layer which is sandwiched between the two com layers of compact bone plates according to development the bones may be classified into membranous bone and cartilaginous bone membranous bone example skull bones frontal parietal occipital cartilaginous bone example the bones of the limbs especially long bones humerus radius ulna femur tibia fibula there is another type membrano cartilaginous bone example mandible spinoid occipital and clavicle even though clavicle is a long bone which should be developed by cartilaginous ossification okay it develops by membranous ossification and it has absence of medullary cavity skeleton skeleton forms the framework of the body types of skeleton there are two types of skeleton axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton axial skeleton the bones present in the midline of the body or the central axis of the body constitutes axial skeleton example skull vertebra sternum ribs and hyoid bone appendicular skeleton the bones of the upper and lower limbs mainly forms the appendicular skeleton example pectoral girdle which includes clavicle and scapula bones of upper limb humerus radius ulna carpal metacarpal pelvic girdle which includes the hip bone and bones of lower limb which includes femur tibia fibula tarsal and metatarsal bones including phalanges histology of bone it consists of a central canal known as haversian canal which contains blood vessels nerves and lymphatics surrounding the central canal there are number of concentric that is subcular concentric plates known as lamella the lamellae are produced by the osteoblast 
which after forming the lamellae gets trapped between the plates in a space known as lacuna. So the lacuna contains the matured osteocytes. Okay. The lacunae are connected to each other by a hard-like structure known as canaliculi. which is the lifeline of the bone because it takes the nutrition or it supplies the nutrition for the entire osteon. A central canal is connected to other, another central canal by Oakman's canal. So from one unit to another unit there is a blood supply through this tubular structure known as Oakman's canal. The lamellae of the bone are of three types. One is concentric lamellae, that is, these are the circular or concentric lamellae present around the Habersian canal. Number two is interstitial lamellae. These are mature or old lamellae present in the bone. And the third one is circumferential lamellae. It forms the circumference of the entire bone. So these are the three types of lamellae present in the bone. Thank you.